what's up guys welcome to the channel and today i'm going to show you how you can possibly potentially fix your dracon drift now what the the main culprit that usually causes dracon drift is dirt and grime inside the stick so this is a cheap and effective way to uh, actually remedy your Joy-Con Drift. So you want to get some alcohol, some isopropyl alcohol or whatever brand you like to use. Just make sure it has a, a I forget, a high, a high rating, I think is what you want, what you want to call it. And then you're gonna need some uh, Q-tips. You know those little uh, things that you use to clean your ear. And that's pretty much it. So what's gonna do? This I, I haven't had I haven't had any issues with this Joy-Con, but my left Joy-Con, which is over there. Um, I mean, my right Joy-Con, sorry. <laughs> I was, <laughs> let's get the two confused, I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, my, my right Joy-Con had a small issue, and I used this alcohol to clean it, and wow, it actually worked. I was, like, blown away. So... My credit, my the credit for this information has to go to uh, Nintendo, Nintendo, um, because he he's a game collector and he knows how to clean consoles and controllers and stuff like that. So, uh, shout out to you, Nintendo. Thank you for this information. So, um, because I don't have a tripod, I can't show you every step. But the first step you want to do is you want to take this. You want to put the uh, tip of it into the hole of the alcohol and get it wet. And then uh, once you do that, you got to go in and you're going to rub, rub around here. Hold the stick back and rub around the rim of it. And make sure you do put a little bit of force on it, but not too much. And uh, then all you got to do is rotate the stick for about 30 seconds. And then let it sit for five minutes. And it should fix your Dracon Drift. So, I will be right back Why I... Um, dampen while dampening this uh one of these uh Q-tips. Okay, so I have dampened my uh Q-tip, and so what you want to do is hold the stick back. You want to get in there and just. Rotate as you go. Sometimes you'll have to do it a couple of times, but hopefully this is the one time. But I'm not, I'm not gonna do it, do it too many times with this one because, like I said, uh, I haven't really had issues with this one. But I'ma prevent that, and then you wanna do this for about thirty seconds. I'll probably time lapse this. You want you don't want to do it hard, just gently, like if you was playing a uh, Pokemon game or something. Okay, and then. That is pretty much it, and then you just gotta leave it for about five minutes. So what I would do is I'm gonna stop the video, 
and wait for about five minutes and I will show you uh, that it does work. So I'll be right back. Okay guys. So it's been about five minutes. So we're gonna go over to the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I gotta turn the TV back on. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. I just drank me some orange juice. There. It should knock out the glare. Alright, so now all we gotta do is turn our switch on. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in. We will go here. It's cool that you can navigate the menu with the right stick uh with the right stick as well. Okay, so Alright, so when uh after you finish cleaning your uh joystick you press in on it and you test it and it's working perfectly now again like i said i wasn't really having problems with this one but now it's guaranteed because i cleaned it there's no gunk and stuff on the sensors anymore, so. Yeah, and I'll show you guys with this one. This one did have a little bit of a, a little bit of a Dracon drift. Like a cat. It will it'll go it'll go like this. If I'm if I went left, it'll start going like this. It'll go like right about there, hover there, and then slowly go back. It was so weird. But now it's not doing it. So yeah. Probably the easiest way to fix and even prevent the drug hind drift. So my recommend my recommendation is to clean your uh, drug hind at least uh, every week or every two weeks, and then um, then you should you should not have drug hind drift anymore. Hopefully. <laughs> Um, now if you have a bunch of people in the house that use the switch, um, then I would say clean it like every, every couple of days or every, yeah, or every week. And then, uh, it'll keep your, uh, joysticks up to par and you don't have to worry about buying like a crap ton of, uh, joy cons. Because I was actually considering buying uh, another Joy-Con. Another set of Joy-Con, actually. Which I still will do in the future, but if I don't have to do it right now, then that will 
be perfectly fine with me, so. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you did find this video helpful, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, hit that little bell so you'll be notified of when I post new videos, and comment and tell me if it worked for you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.